Hello everybody, today is May 16 and today's prayer journal title is The Incident of the Fig Tree. The Bible verse that we're going to read today is Mark chapter 11 verse 24. Let's read it all together. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Amen. Even though you are facing uh, problems and you feel so powerless and also your difficulties are so uh, impossible to hold or in other words to handle, you need to know that the only answer for all these things is the covenant. Why? Because only God can give us the true answers throughout these difficulties. And this is what God desires. If we hold on to the accurate covenant, we know that we will surely enjoy the blessings of the church and those who will relay this only gospel. Because we know this fact, that's why we hold on to the covenant first, and now we enjoy the spiritual blessings. Not only are we going to finish with that, but we must ask ourselves, what is the covenant you must hold on to and the answer that you must receive today. So today is very important for tomorrow, and today has relationship with the eternal things, and today has the relationship with the spiritual world. That's why today we need to hold on to the Word, and every day we need to hold on to covenant. That's why the historic answer and an absolute answer were always there. If you hold on to the historic covenant, then historic answers will come. In every age, the Israelites had lost hold of the covenant, did not realize the importance of the covenant, and what happened to them? Slavery, captivity, and colonization took part of their life. But what happened the moment that restored the importance and also they centered themselves in the covenant? God restored the people of Israel. Many people focus on this restorement in a way that now it's getting better, now they live a better life. No, that's not true. The restoration of what God wants inside the covenant is life movement, gospel movement that will relate to our future generations. That's the most important thing of the restoration of this covenant. No matter what you face, you know that you need to hold on to the covenant and believe in God's power. Let us not be hasty. Let us not be neither uh, lazy in knowing what God really wants for our life. That's why the covenant will always solve the problems. But we need to know the perspective of what kind of problems we, need, want, we want to get solved. Do we want just physical problems to be solved or some kind of diseases or mental diseases or any circumstance or, or your, the environment that you live. We all desire that. But we need to understand first that God, through the covenant of Christ, He is healing and also saving His soul through the work of the Holy Spirit. In other words, when we hold on to the covenant, the first problem that is solved is what? Is the spiritual problems. We need to know that all the problems derives from the spiritual problems. So in the field of where you are, you must relay the gospel and also we should not be Satan's playground. Never we should be allowing this. And also we need to see everything with the spiritual eyes and you must forgive and transcend in other in order to save our field. Sometimes we will be in a position that this is not fair, why this is happening to me, why people are treating like this to me, why everything is in contrary that I was planning for. Why does this happen, right? First thing of all is that you must first realize who you are and why you live and what are you living for. If God really called you as children of God and that's a soul assurance and you're so sure about this, then the first thing you need to ask yourself and ask God is, 
What is your greatest plan? And the moment you ask this question through prayer, God's starting to give you answers. Not immediately answers, but God will give you assurance of your salvation. You know that you're saved. Now you know the children of God. And God never abandons His children. That's why holding on to your God-given covenant today will become the answers of the future. So I hope that today you hold on to the covenant for the sake of your future generations, for the sake of this gospel, for the sake of this earth to the nation. We need to hold on to the covenant. Don't hold on to other things because this will not save this spiritually dead humanities. Neither these problems that are spiritual. That's why let us hold on to the covenant and let us not be dismayed or let us not be away or stray away from what is the covenant and let us focus only in this. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you. And may I hold on to the covenant and raising the system that will save and heal the 237 nations. And also let us raise our remnants into the summit and help our remnants to enjoy the summit and healing. Let us relay only the gospel and imprint only the covenant through our generations. And let us be models for them, role models, so they can, they can know that whatever we are in, a, in a situations or difficulties, we are always in front of God. Let us enjoy the blessings that you have given us, and let us not be... Uh, deceived by our things or thoughts. Thank you, God, and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.